Hey guys, what's up? This is Hidden Turtle, and, uh, well, I've got a question for you guys. Have you ever been sad or just in a bad mood? Well, you probably have been because that's just a normal human thing. But, uh, I'm gonna tell you guys 10 of my favorite games to help alleviate this inner stress in your mind. Yes, this is my list of the top 10 best games to play when you're in a bad mood. Starting off this list at number 10 is Super, Super Smash, Smash Bros. Bros. Because who doesn't find beating the ever-living crap in a video game all-star satisfying and invigorating? This game can help relieve your inner tensions in various ways depending on the way that you like to play. It can be a nice, somewhat relaxing experience filled with amazing Nintendo music and all the classic characters. Yippee! Or it could be a freaking insane death battle where you smack the living shit out of everyone with a baseball bat. Fuck you, Donkey Kong! Feeling down? Invite some good friends over for some good times. It's pretty fun. Trust me. It's it's a good game. I play it all the time. Up next at number 9 is Goat Simulator. This game is ridiculously hilarious. It's simple. You're a goat, and you can go around messing with everything, and there's a ton of hilarious physics and just total slapstick humor. This game will try its best to make you laugh, and I gotta say, it does a pretty good job at it. Not to mention, you can also knock people miles away with your headbutt. It's, it's pretty impressive. Look at, look at that guy go. He's, he's going far away. It's like, it's like Team Rocket out there. Rhythm Heaven is a really nice and relaxing change of pace from everyday stress. It's filled to the brim with fun mini games, great music, and a wonderful art style. And it's really nice to play when you're down in the dumps and want to pick me up. Just grab a copy for the DS and just carry it wherever you go. And whenever you're mad because you failed your test, pick up Rhythm Heaven and try your best. Oh my god! That was amazing! Wow. Sorry. Yeah, that... That was this. Rhythm Heaven, guys. Good game. Actually, though, it's very fun. God, I just. I love Scribble Knots. It's such a charming game with a unique art style and an awesome concept. You just think of something in your head, type it in your magical, like, little notepad thing, and bam, it's been created. There's a ton of levels that require you to solve problems using this open, sandbox esque mechanic. And you decided to solve the level. It's fun, simple, and it's just really entertaining and refreshing. You can also summon monsters to have a super mega death battle. So that's pretty awesome too. You may or may not have picked up on this already, but uh, I'm a bit biased towards Nintendo. I mean, when it comes to happy fun times and video games, Nintendo owns that. But this game right here defies that notion and gives a nice change of pace for avid PlayStation players who are normally used to intense games like COD or GTA. Little Big Planet is freaking adorable. The graphics are amazing and the game really makes me feel like I'm a young kid again playing with some toys. The music and overall mood is amazing and the gameplay is pretty nifty as well. Even if you aren't in a bad mood, I would just suggest this game in general because it's just an overall solid title. And also, uh, the main protagonist's name is Sackboy, so. It's funny, guys. <laughs> Sacks. Like many others on this list, this game is so simplistic and casual that it's actually really nice to play when you're down. You just go around and take pictures of Pokemon, and that's it. That's the dream. The visuals are really nice for the N64, especially the various habitats, and I used to love it because there's no wild grass, you just saw the Pokemon right there, like you're watching Animal Planet or something. No wild grass bullcrap. It was awesome. The music is also really nice and pretty soothing. Oh, and you can throw apples and pester balls at Pokemon. Fun! Yeah! Wait, 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 please don't comment yet, hear me out. 
I know, these are very different games on the exterior. Dead Rising has zombies and Hyrule Warriors has, uh, soldier things? I, I don't know what these are. Huh. But when you really think about it, they both achieve very similar things. In both games, you massacre hordes and hordes of enemies, and it's really easy. And really, really satisfying. I just love mowing down waves and waves of enemies in both of these games. It's it's actually really sickening. Um, it's, it's almost genocide. Someone, please. Someone help me. <laughs> just kidding. It's really, really fun. And if I had to choose between these, honestly, I'd probably go with Dead Rising because it's actually it's just a funny game. Man, Yoshi's Island, this game, this game defines happiness. The music, the colors, the enemies, the art, the music, it's all so happy. Did I mention the music? Listen, listen to this. Do you not just want to like slide down a rainbow onto a big pillow of cotton candy? Because I really do. God, if this game doesn't make you smile, I don't know what will. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that will. That's, that's really cute. Oh, no, no, please. No, shut it up. Oh, God, no, no! One finger death punch. This game is so badass. Yeah, I know, it's really simplistic. It only has two buttons to control it. But it's so satisfying to kick so much ass. Bam, bam, smash! Blood, yes, get wrecked. I love this game so much. It empowers me when I can beat the crap out of these freaking stick figures. I don't know, just, just play it. I promise it'll help you get your bad feelings out. Just, just look at this. I'm just beating the living crap out of everyone. It's awesome. Kirby series is really known for its cutesy graphics and overall cheery atmosphere, but Kirby's epic yarn tops it all. Yes, this game is the mother of all happiness. Similar to Yoshi's Island, the charming and gorgeous graphics and music really help create this really, really, really happy ambiance. It's nice and it's really relaxing and it's just so damn cute. Instead of smashing walls or rewatching Dear John for the seventh time to cheer yourself up, which doesn't work. Trust me. Actually, wait. yeah, I don't, I don't know that. <laughs> Just pick up a copy of Kirby's Epic Yarn and play to your heart's content. The cheeriness of the game will certainly rub off on you. Trust me. Hello, thanks for watching my first ever top 10 video on the top 10 games to play when you're in a bad mood. Uh, basically, I compiled this list by judging games based on like the cutesy atmosphere, the cheeriness, and I also included games that were just really satisfying and like empowering, you know? Fight the power, man. Fight the power. I, I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, uh, if you have your own games that you like to play when you're in a bad mood, Make your own list in the comment section. It'll be really interesting to see which games I forgot about because I do think I did forget about a lot of games that I enjoy playing when I'm in a bad mood. So uh, yeah, it'd be cool to see everyone else's thoughts. And uh, also, if you have some feedback, that'd be cool too because I'm going to keep saying this for my first few videos. I'm a total noob to this whole YouTube thing. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, and, um, uh, I gotta have a cool catchphrase. Stay classy, San Diego! Oh, shit, that's been used. Uh, be nice to your neighbors. Thank you for watching.